Hi, I'm Miss Michelle from the Robinson Branch, and today we're going to do a little bit of apple science. Let's start by thinking about all of the things that we already know about apples. You take a moment, you can pause this video and talk to your grown up and maybe write down the things that you know about apples. Did you make your list? I'm gonna tell you the things that I know about apples. Apples grow on trees. Apples can be red, green, or yellow. Apples taste good. Apples have seeds. Now that we've made a list of the things that we already know about apples, let's make a list of the things that we want to learn about apples. My first question is, do apples float or sink? And to answer this question, we're going to need a bowl, some water, and an apple. We're going to take our water and pour it into the bowl, just like this. And once we have it all in there, we're going to add our apple. Let's see what happens. Got it in there, it looks like it's floating. Yes, I can press it down and it pops right up. So apples do float. Now I wanna know, what are the parts of an apple? The brown part sticking out of my apple is called the stem. Sometimes you'll find some leaves attached to that too. The outside of my apple is called the peel or the skin and that's the part of the apple that's going to be red, green, or yellow. The part of the apple that we eat is called the flesh. The center of our apple is called the core, and that's where the seeds are. You can see I took the seeds out of my apple and I had three of them. The last thing that I wanna learn about an apple today is what stops an apple from turning brown. When we cut into an apple, the enzymes inside the apple mix with oxygen and they start to turn the inside of our apple brown. And we're gonna see what we can do to stop that from happening. For this experiment, you're going to need five small pieces of apple, five containers to put them in, and then some water, some baking soda, some lemon juice, and some vinegar. The first apple slice is gonna go into the container with nothing in it. We're just gonna let that one sit in the air and see what happens. In our next cup, we're gonna pour a little bit of water. The third cup is going to get baking soda and water. The fourth cup is going to get lemon juice. Our fifth and final cup is going to get vinegar. And now we let them sit and see what happens. It's been about two hours now, so let's check back in on our apple slices and see how they look. Our first one that had nothing in it, it just sat in the air, is looking a little brown. The apple slices that sat in water and in baking soda and water both look about the same, a little bit brown. The apple slice that sat in lemon juice looks really good. And our final apple slice that sat in the vinegar is not looking very good at all. So what did we learn? If we wanna stop our apples from browning, we need to use lemon juice on them just a little bit and that stops them from turning brown once they hit the air. Now I answered all of the questions that I had about apples today, but if I didn't answer your questions, you may want to check out a few of these books. You can place them on hold by going onto our website at www.mcl.org and you can look up the titles and place a hold on them. And when they come in, you can set up a curbside pickup appointment. Our first book is How Do Apples Grow by Betsy Maestro. Apples by Gail Gibbons. From Apple Trees to Cider, Please by Felicia Sanzari Cherneski. If you have even more questions, you can go onto our website and search our catalog for books about apples. We have a lot of different titles in our catalog and hopefully one of them will answer the questions that you have. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.